Here's the thing. It's just, yeah. the, proof, the proof that the Bible is true is that unless it's true, you can't prove anything. Okay? Yeah. The Bible says that the foundation of all knowledge and wisdom is the fear of God. And the Bible says that Jesus Christ is the embodiment of wisdom and truth. Okay? And so as soon as you reject that God, you can't make sense of, you can't make a truth claim about anything. You can't know anything to actually be true for sure unless the Bible is true. Okay? Have you read because the Quran before? I've read, I've read large sections of the Quran. I haven't read the whole thing. I'm trying to read it. I got so much stuff to read. But um, the Quran says that the Bible is true. Yeah. But then it go but then it goes on but then it goes on and denies teachings that the Bible teaches proving that it's not actually what it claims to be. The Quran claims to be an extension of basically an yeah, extension of the same religion. The same, yeah, it's the same. That's what it claims, but then it yeah, denies the same place. But then it denies uh, fundamental characteristics of God. Like it denies the Trinity. Well, the Bible teaches the Trinity. It denies that Jesus Christ is God. Well, the Bible teaches Jesus Christ is God. So if the Quran is true mm -hmm. and it claims the Bible is true, then the Quran is false because it denies the Bible. No, of course. I'm, I'm it's a contradiction. That, I'm saying everything is like false. Right. I'm just saying. Here's what, I, here's what I'm saying, man. Yeah. And I, I don't want to take a ton more of your time, so we're kind yeah. of going in circles now. But yeah. I want you to consider this. The Bible says that deep down you actually know that God exists. Because you rely on Him every day when you, you make moral judgments. That's just your opinion, so man, unless logic. God exists. Yeah. And you can't have logic either. I know, I know what I'm talking about. I'm sure I know. Okay, I'm where did logic... Okay. I don't really have much time to... So what's the foundation of logic then? I don't know. I don't know the foundation. The foundation of logic is just using common sense. Okay, I but question your common sense is different than my common sense, is, right? Yeah, of course. So is my logic different than yours? Is my logic yeah, just is. as valid? Is it just as valid? Of course it is. Okay, so I Mine say... like broader, like it's I say th I say two things can contradict themselves and both be equally true. Do you, uh, can two things contradict? Can the sky... No, they can't. Both yeah. Be well, I say they can. So whose logic now is you more say, valid? Mine no, I don't valid. actually say they can. Oh, yeah. I'm using it as an example. So I'm saying no, that law, that law of logic doesn't exist. The law of non-contradiction, it's called. Uh, so whose, so whose, whose logic is more valid, mine or yours? Mine. Why? Because I just. Because you think so? Yeah. But you don't I even have an so. ultimate standard. I do. What is it? It's about using like common sense, right? Well, your common sense is different than mine. Now we're going in circles. I'm no, explaining the same thing to you. You're talking about logic, right? Yeah. And I'm talking about a broader stuff. I'm talking about logic, about science, about right. astrophysics. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything. All those but things. The, all those the, things assume Bible, logic. Okay. Let, okay. What? What if I ask you some questions in the Bible? Okay. Because so, so many things in the Bible are funny, yeah. Sure. There was this. That's the like the only one I'm always gonna remember. Um, when Joshua told the son to stand still. Yeah. I still don't understand what happened then. Sun stood still. Sun, okay, why? Because God made it stand still. I don't... It, the, the Bible doesn't, doesn't give me all... Sense to me. Well, to that's, me, to that's me, it makes sense to me. Well, that's fine. It makes sense to God. It's based on the perception of the world then. Because they believe the sun was going around our planet. Well, it so stood still. That's that all I know. It just tells you that the Bible was written by somebody around then. I had a kind of knowledge and just wanted to write something. It's not as if okay, here, here, here's my question. Here's my question. Okay, here's an interesting question that yeah. I, I would counter you with. Yeah. You don't believe in God, not the God of the Bible. How do you know that the sun can't just stand still sometimes? Of course it can. It, yeah, of course okay, the so then you got no problem with it. Yeah, most I know. But so no, how do you know it can't just stand still? You're you're saying that it okay. What you're saying to me is it's absurd that Joshua said that the sun yeah, stood still, right? You're saying the that that can't why happen. The reason to stand still was for the day to keep on. Yes, right? yes. So can that but happen? Yes that. or no? Does that happen? Yes or no? Yeah, it does. Okay. If, so if then you have no problem with it. If you tell the sun to stand <laughs> still, if you tell the sun to stand still, the planet is still going to be moving. It so is, what? It is still going to be moving. Well, maybe this maybe the planet stood still the, too. The only things that we're not going to see moving are the other stars. Here's the thing, okay, there's something that you're assuming in all of this, and that is the uniformity of nature. Mm -hmm. you're, you're, what you're assuming is that because today mm -hmm. we observe that the sun doesn't stand still. Oh, it's gonna change in the future? Then it never could. No, that's what you're assuming. Oh, that's what you're assuming, right? Yeah. That's why you're calling it absurd that the sun yeah. stood still, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. Correct? Yeah. That's your position. Yeah. You can't account for uniformity of nature unless the God of the Bible exists. I know what I'm talking about. No, so, okay then, many, tell me, tell me why, tell me why, do you know? tell me why, that, no, 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 I'm not going to move on okay, from this, okay, I'm not going to okay. move on from okay. this. So, how do you ground uniformity of nature, which is what you are appealing to when you say the sun couldn't have stood still like that in the sky? Whether it's how we perceive it, whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. You're saying it couldn't have happened, right? It can, but the reason. Okay, so if it so the, if it can, the if it was gonna like if it actually wanted um, day to keep like to stay still, it's not gonna tell the sun to stand still. If you can, okay, well, if that was a motif or something like if that. it can stand still, it's then bad. you can't say it's absurd that it stood still. Well, that's right? just one. I I know. Okay. What I'm, I know you don't really understand what I'm talking. No, about. I understand exactly what you're saying. I'm no, saying I'm that you are assuming things in your in your objection against God. Yeah. You're assuming things that only God can account for. I'm just giving you a reason why the Bible was probably written by someone who just had a uh, conception right? and just wrote some no groups of people, right? Okay. They just had a, they, they had perceptions and wrote what they felt like. Okay, so here's okay. Because here's I'm gonna I'm gonna, fit, I'm gonna I'm gonna I understand what you're right? saying. I understand what you're saying. I just want to get I just I want to close off that part of the conversation just okay. by asking you this question. Okay. So, okay. it is not absurd that the sun could have stood still. It's not absurd. No. no? Okay, so there goes your objection. Okay. Not, not like the right. Sun well, the way it's said, the it's, Bible, didn't even say it's not it's not a scientifically technical explanation of what happened in the Bible. Okay. Yeah. All they know is. The sun appeared to be standing still in the sky. Good yeah, enough, because right? Back in the days, the story was going yeah. on. Yeah. So it's not a scientifically so technical. Shows you that the Bible needs. He wasn't. To he, be Joshua wasn't submitting his account to a scientific journal for peer review. Okay. Right. He was just writing down what he saw. I'm just right. saying what right. I. What I sure. What I, under, I understand. I understand. But right. my whole explanation is yeah. that even the things that you're taking to argue against God, you're yeah, saying right. things are illogical. You're saying uh, that based on uniformity in nature, certain things couldn't take place. Well, you can't even assume logic or the uniformity in nature unless God exists. Mm. Okay?